my name is Emmy, and I'm an instructor here at Legacy School of Irish Dance. I'm also a personal trainer and a fitness instructor. And today, we're gonna to be doing a workout called plyometrics for Irish dancers. So plyometrics are really fast, powerful, explosive exercises. And you can't do them for very long because they're really hard. Um, if we're thinking about those types of moves in Irish dancing, we're thinking about our leaps, any of our big jumps, our birdies, um, any time that we need to move really far across the floor in a really short period of time. Um, if we're doing a uh, hard shoe, we're thinking about our clicks. Those are all plyometric moves. So today we're going to cross train and do some plyometric exercises to help us build up that strength, that stamina, and that explosiveness. So our jumps are higher, we move across the floor faster, and we feel a lot more confident in our dancing. With plyometric exercises, you can do them for short periods of time, but then you want to give your body time to take a break because your body needs to replenish the energy that it needs to do those exercises full out. So today we're going to do eight different exercises and most of them involve jumping and we're going to do them for 30 seconds of hard work and 30 seconds of rest. Um, so that's going to be about seven and a half minutes of work. I highly encourage you, if you feel like 30 seconds is too long, um, I'm going to give you some options of things to do during the rest time, but as you get stronger, take that 30 seconds and make it 20 or make it 15 and really push yourself um, to do a little bit less rest. But we also want to make sure that we're going full out everything you've got um, during that 30 seconds of activity. Before this workout, please make sure that you have warmed up. So you might want to run for a couple minutes, maybe do some of the warm-ups you do in dance class, do some stretches, and then you have water and a towel nearby if you sweat like I do. Also, you might want a mat for any exercises that we're going to put our hands on the floor for. Um, and you want to make sure that you have a really, really good soundtrack. So I'm not going to play music, so you can pick your favorite songs and you can jam out while we're having a good workout together. Our first exercise is going to start in 10 seconds, and we're going to do a lunge with a power skip. And I've got our timer set up. So our lunge, our foot's going to come back, and then we're going to shoot it up to the ceiling, okay? Here we go. So we're going to lunge back, shoot up, switch, lunge, up, back, up, good, back, up. You really want to use those arms to drive that lunge higher. Push, good. Push, nice. Push, good. Push, up. Nice job. Up. For three, two, and one. Good. 30 seconds of rest. You're like, not really feeling it. Jog in place. Good. Jog in place. Nice. Our next exercise, we have a tuck jump. So I'm going to show you. We're going to load and come up, bringing our knees up to our hands. Land softly, bending through the knees. Good. In three, two, one, tuck jumps. Remember, you only have to push for 30 seconds. So it should be everything you got. Good. You got this. Halfway. Good. Five seconds. Come on, you guys. Nice job. And for those tuck jumps, if the jumping is hard, you can do knees here. Okay, awesome. Next, we have a high knee variation. We're gonna do four low knees, and then we're gonna bring two up as high as we can get. So it looks like one, two, three, four, one, two. Woo! If you want jog, three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Good. Really push and jump as high as you can on those two knees. Good. You can do it. And breathe. Nice job, you're killing it. All right, we have a broad jump. Forward, 
and then we shuffle back. I'm gonna do it from the side so that you can see me. 15 more seconds if you want. Jog in place, stretch it out, grab some water. So our broad jump comes forward, and then we shuffle back. Jump as far as you can, and shuffle back. Let's go. Jump, shuffle back. So land soft on those heels, and in a squat. Use your arms to push you. You can always do two big leaps and shuffle back if you need to. Whoops, that would have been bad. Make sure you have plenty of room and you're not going to trip. Nice job. Take a deep breath. We are halfway. You guys are doing awesome. Now, we have big side to side jumps. So, we're going to jump as far as we can to each side. We're going to keep that inside leg up off the floor. You have five more seconds. Then we're giving it everything we've got. Two, one, here we go. Jump, jump, jump. This is the third video I've filmed today. So sorry if I look a little tired. It works. That's why I'm so tired, huh? Good. Big jump. I know this isn't easy, but think about how good it's going to feel when you're done. Good. Five seconds. Work hard. Three, two, and done. Awesome. Few more left. We have burpees. Who knows what a burpee is, right? So you jump up towards the ceiling. Hands come down to the floor. You bring your feet back into a plank. You come forward and you jump back up. Good. 30 seconds. Then you get to rest. Push yourself. You can do this. Do it from the side so you can see. Let's go. Up, down, out, in. You can always speed them up. When you jump forward, bring your feet forward and land on those heels. Feet to the outside of the hands. In three, two, and one. Nice job. Good alternative is to reach down, step out, step in, reach up if you need a break. Next, we have single foot hops over a line. So, you're gonna jump side to side over an imaginary line. Or, if you have a line, you can jump over that. Ready, and go. So we're gonna pick one foot, jump for 15 seconds, then we're gonna switch. Good. Side to side, land nice and soft, and switch. Maybe see, is one side easier than the other? If it is, do an extra few seconds on that side, it's not easy. And you can always step like this. Good job, all right. You have made it to your last exercise. You're doing so good. This one is probably pretty familiar. We're gonna jump. And bum. How many times do we do that by your stancing, right? So we're gonna practice that. Catch your breath. You're doing so good. You've almost made it to the end of our workout. Keep pushing. I know that you can do this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jump and bum. And bum. Try to point your toes on your jump. Land nice and soft. If jumping hurts today, you can do butt kickers. But let's try for eight more seconds. Come on, you guys. We can do this. We are strong. Push and done. Nice job. Giving you all a high five right now. Give yourself a high five. 
take a deep breath and let's walk around a little bit. So you want to cool down after you're done with this workout, especially because our heart rates got up so high and we worked so hard. I don't know about you, but I'm breathing hard. You guys kicking my butt today. So take those deep breaths in and out. Make sure you drink water. This is a great workout to do twice if you're feeling up to it and if you have the time. Or you can do this workout with other ones in the series. You can add some stretching, like our yoga stretching or our power yoga workout. Or you can do some core work at the very end. Do what works best for you. Push yourself. Thank you so much. Make sure you cool down, that you drink lots of water, and I'm so excited that I get to be part of this awesome legacy family. You are strong, you are confident and powerful, and I love being able to work out with you. Have a good day, and I hope you'll come back and work out with me again. Thanks, guys.